hands so ashy? Somebody didn't tell me my hands were this ashy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about products, natural hair products that I would not repurchase. Whether they've been sent to me or I purchased them outright won't be buying again. Some of these products I have a love-hate relationship with. I try my best to really like these products and I use them anyway, but as soon as I do, I'm like, why did I use this? This is not working. And then I put it back under my cabinet and end up using it sometime down the road. I don't know why I did that. So let me just show you some of the products that I'm talking about. And I do want to preference this video also by saying, just because these products did not work for me may not mean it does not work for you. And I'm not bashing any of the companies of these products at all. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there. So with that being said, let me show you some of the products. For the most part, I've already done a video on all of these products, I think except for one. No, two. There's two products that I have not done a video on. So the first one that I have not reviewed is from Kinky Curly Not Today, which is a very popular product among the natural hair community. I purchased this product with my own money. This is the Natural Leave-In Detangler. For whatever reason, I don't remember really using this product to where it's down to here, but apparently I have used it at some point where it's down to here. But each time that I used it, it just did not work for my hair. It just sat on my hair and it left white residue in my hair. And I don't know how I ended up down here with this amount. So it says this product is for thick, coarse curls, loose wavy curls. And I would kind of say mine is um, in between those two in some sections of my hair. This is an expensive product. I think it's like $11 or something like that, but it's not cheap. And I definitely would not um, spend the money to get this again. So the next one I have is from Natural Club. This is the Extreme Whole Curl Defying Flaxseed Gel Plus Yogurt. I thought I didn't do a review on this one, but I actually did. Now that I, I think about it, I actually did do a review. Um, this product no 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 i showed i showed myself using the product but i did not really give my thoughts and opinion about this product that's what it was so and the reason why i didn't is because this was such a bad product because it says extreme hold and it means just that i put my hair in bantu knots using this product and after it dried it was like concrete my hair was like, I thought my hair was going to literally break. My hair was that hard. And I had to put oils on my hair um, to, loosen, to loosen my hair up, but it was that bad. I've never used a gel before that was that strong that I felt like it was going to just break my hair, like just snap um, my hair completely off. It, it was that bad. But I'm almost scared to try this product again because it, it was just it was just a bad experience and I mean this is a really great brand and I and I love the products that they have for the most part uh, in particular the, the um, avocado deep conditioner but this gel was just it, it, it just did the most it, it was just way beyond what my hair needed and um, it was already kind of in a fragile state anyway to be using this type of a product so I will never get a gel that strong ever again in life but I mean, for other people, I don't know what their outcome looked like after the fact, but my hair was so hard, I couldn't even style it. I had no choice but to just wash my hair and get this stuff out of my hair. But this is one I would never, ever, ever purchase. They sent me this um, as part of the PR pack package, but I would never purchase this. I'll purchase their other stuff, but not this gel. The next product that I have not reviewed on my channel, I've never spoke of this product before, is the what is this smooth and shine fine botanicals oil this is from swarp swarp cough swarp cough for whatever reason i thought this was from um i don't know what company i thought this was from i thought it was a dark and lovely product but it's schwartz cough smooth shine fine bot uh, botanical oils with camellia oil and shea butter this is a curl defining mousse it defines curls, helps add volume to curls, leaves your curls light, and helps prevent frizz. And this is for curly or coily hair. No sulfates added, but there is an asterisk there. And this is for type 3 and type 4 hair. The reason why I don't like this product and I would never buy it again is really because of the alcohol that's in here. 
and this product is very drying it dries out my hair it goes on very nicely and it does have like this um softening feel to my hair when it's applied but when it's dry it's just a dry frizzy mess it does not compact combat frizz it does not help frizz in my personal opinion for my hair type and texture at all this product has a lot of alcohols in it it has a lot of silicones there's propane butane alcohol isobutane and a lot of uh cones 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 throughout this product and there's oils here and there but it's just mostly just bad stuff that your hair don't need and if you don't want your hair drawn out then i would not suggest using this product even though it has oils and says it has oils in it the the alcohol the amount of alcohol and silicones in this product outweigh the oils so the oils don't last long with this type of product so this is not one that will be gracing my coins ever again now for the ones that i have reviewed i have a couple here i'm going to start with the acure and i did a video on these already um, this was the mega moisture argan oil and pumpkin uh, shampoo and the conditioner and the only thing that i liked about these products is the scent the smell of these products are absolutely delicious smelling they have the most beautiful scent of any product i've ever smelled before if they sold the fragrance in a bottle as a a room a freshener or perfume or something like that i would buy it i would hands down buy it but these products were just okay they were they were okay and then i kept saying that in that video but there was no wow factor uh to these products i was expecting my hair to feel moisturized and i just didn't get that i, I didn't get the moisture i didn't feel uh the moisture at all i don't really know if they're truly for um natural hair but they are uh, paraben free, sulfate free, phthalate free, mineral oil free, petroleum free, silicone free, and cruelty free. So I can appreciate that. These products were $10 a piece and they just didn't do it for me. I just don't see myself going back spending $10 each for either one of these products. The next product that will not be grace of my coins is from the Curls line. This is the Goddess Curls Botanical Gel. Frizz fighting is what it says, botanical holding gel that is formulated with certified organic mango, shea butter, and plumeria flower extract. And it says that it's supposed to revitalize damaged hair and add moisture. And this is a styler. This product gave me major, major shrinkage. Um, there was no weighing down my curls whatsoever and my hair felt very sticky and just very mushy, thick. Like it was just like poodle hair. So I did have the frizziness, the define and the hold. I will say that I had definition and I did have some hold and it wasn't crunchy or, or anything like that, but it was just the shrinkage. It was just the major shrinkage that it just gave my hair. Like my hair was just like, like, you know, just like a ball of like shrunken hair. And I just did not like the outcome of my hair after using this gel. Was it moisturized? Yeah, my hair was moisturized. I'll, I'll give it that. But for the most part, the style was just, it, it was just a fail. And so I will never use this product again. Another natural hair product I will never use again. This is a styler from Miel. Uh, this is the Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Styling Gel. I have already done a video on this. The link is above. Check it out. The reason why this gel did not work for me was mostly the glycerin. Glycerin is the second ingredient in this product of after water and that just really just killed it for my hair there was no moisture my hair was dry it was so crusty it just looked like days old hair that had never been washed never had any type of attention to it whatsoever it just left my hair just a hot dry no moisture mess it was it was just a wreck but this was not moisturizing in the least bit it smells good it actually has a really pleasant smell to it it also gave me really great definition as long as my hair was wet with this product in it, I had the definition, I had the softness, my hair just felt very light, airy, and bouncy. But as soon as my hair dried, it was just downhill from there. It was flaky, it was dry, it was crusty, crunchy, no moisture. It just looked like my hair had been fried and just... Everything was just totally wrong upon using this product. This was just one I... I would never recommend to anybody um, the other products in the line the other products that they have in their line for the the RX line actually were good but this gel was the only one that it, it was it was bad 
So the next product I have is from Baskin Bloom Essentials. This is the Ease Leave-In Conditioner, Strengthens and Protects. What I did not like about this product is the fact that it sat on my hair, there was no penetration to my hair strands, and I did not feel any moisture at all. It just felt like me putting lotion on my hair. Lotion is meant for my legs, my arms, my hands to absorb into my skin. There was no absorption whatsoever. It was just like putting lotion on my hair. And that's the only thing I did not like about this product. Yeah, it, it was just not penetrating. And it's hard finding good leave-in conditioners for my hair. Really, really hard. And it's rare that I find a good one. There's only maybe one so far that is like really, really good. And it goes with any product styler that I put on my hair. But this is one. And I just really hate... Um, I think I got this on sale, but this product also ha is a little pricey. This is one I would not repurchase. For the simple fact, there's no slip and there's no absorption. There's no penetration to my hair. There's really no point of putting this on my hair if it's just going to sit on there causing a lot of residue and white stuff. So this is one I would not purchase again. And also the same for the Sotanicals Mango Dip Detangling Slip. This is with the Mango Butter and Olive Squalane. So just like the other leave-ins, this one, same thing. It just sits on my hair and I really, really, really try to like this product. This product and I have a love-hate relationship because I love the smell of it and I love the feel of the product, but it just, again, it sits on my hair. There's no absorption. There's no penetration to my hair and I love all of the ingredients that are on here, but it just does not like my hair. I've tried to use this several times smells so good it says it's curl friendly tangle friendly moisture friendly um as far as detangling it didn't really help detangling my hair moisture um i couldn't really tell if there was any moisture with this product it just didn't like my hair that that's really all i have to say about it it just didn't like my hair i don't know what it is about the formulation of this product. I could not get excited about this product at all. And I really love Sultanicals. They are absolutely my number one favorite hair brand right now. But this product in particular, I, I this, is, this is the only one that just does not like my hair. This is the only one. But everything else that I've used with their products have been highly successful for my hair, except for this mango dip detangling slip. It just... It just, it just didn't do it for my hair whatsoever. I don't know what I'm going to do with these products. They've just been sitting in, in my cabinets and on my shelves for quite some time now. Um, these might be products that I'll give away. They may not. I may try to, except for that from mail, I'm not going to use that again. But I may want to try, retry some of these, give them a second chance. Because some of these I only use one time and I never gave them a second chance. But the ones that I have used repeatedly and I still get the same poor results, um, I think I'll just probably just go ahead and give those away. But that pretty much concludes this video, just showing you guys products I will not purchase again um, for the obvious reasons. And if you want to give these products a try, any of them a, a try, and you have a different uh, outcome, please let me know in the comments below. But if you do like me sharing these things with you in this video today, please give it a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and check out my Amazon store. It's just Janine and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.